Fame, what can he do right here to stop this Furtis Pro push? Sanji, really planting in the smoke, but Neon here can hit a shot. Furtis Pro gonna find some kills already. Jamir tapping away with the Glock. And now VP in a five versus three. Adrenaline Norbert, Norbert to go down <laughs> to Kinder. And now... I honestly think he's just going to get hunted down by the CT players. Okay, he does see Jame. Kick it now coming through the back lines, and it will be the Orpha to go out. And this is why they are a tier one team. Tell me if you would have thought of that yourself, or if you would have just gone in for the frags. Fame, though, yeah. does find a frag on tier Such Busters. a slow game from yeah. Virtus Pro. They draw the rotation to B, and Buster now jumps in to surprise Neelan from all the way up in uh, Vent Ramu. Trades back onto Kick it from. Down at the bottom of the stairs, but Jame is quick to trade straight on back. Three versus three situation here. Sanji just about gets the bomb down. Doesn't realize that Jame is throwing them the AK. Communication to patch themselves up. Buster, very difficult fight against Fame here, and he uses the height advantage of Short to his advantage now. Three versus two on the retake, and VP have a lot to play for. Sanji goes down to Norbert, and now Jame. Is it going to be Jame time, as we like to say, especially when he finds that AK? Ooh, he could... Nah, nah. He's chilling on the couches. I mean, I, I accept that. I agree with him right there. Winning the round, definitely uh, not possible there anymore. Player in stairs, a player in connector. He's like the reverse Yakinda for K23. Now Fame peeks out again, finds Buster through the edge of the smoke. And he's making him, though. Great position in sandwich, and if he goes unchecked, this could be the round. Jane, though, oh. swings on in, doesn't quite be far enough, and kick it there to trade him out. Sanji finds another, but Fame and Adren out of nowhere, bringing more frags to the table. Now a two versus two. Players coming from CT and Jungle, and Sanji falls, meaning it's kick it. And time. a one versus one against Norbert. There's not enough time. That's a great spot, White. And K23 pick up a second round as Virtus Pro play themselves. They wait far. Eight seconds left. Furthest bro on looking for this A split happen, but the flashbang comes in. Fame takes out Sanji. There is a player though behind enemy lines that it's Kinder. Oh, Neilan, this time is going to be horrible for him. Furthest bro going to find two kills, but Fame with the trade frags. Now we are in a two versus two with 30 seconds left. The bomb still has to go down, and Mo is holding it. Yeah, time is ticking away, and this is one of the major problems for this squad. They let time tick down so close. And they go for the like the flashy plays Ooh. right at the end, but Yakinda, a brilliant headshot on towards Norbert. Means Moo is last alive, left to deal with this bomb plant, but Jane gets it secured. Now an Orpy Orp made his way out into mid site. And now edging his way back towards jungle. I think he knows there's not much time left. And wow, that's a brilliant shot on towards Yakinda. Oh. I think he's gone back for it again. Going towards the bomb, but Jane anticipates it, finds it. Tricks people into thinking that um older than I am, but Jane. Can he trick Mo into thinking the coast is clear? Yes, he can. Swings on in, finds a kill. Fame is ready and waiting for Buster here. Will he find the frag? Fame, gonna find Buster. Now looking for some more, but Kickard is gonna take him out. Now Neelan trying to find the frag, but they are able to get away. Now VP about to execute on this, this A bomb site. But they don't have any smokes anymore besides that one that just dropped, Jane. The fight Norbert, Neilan though with a trade now. He is in a very difficult situation. James holding him down as soon as he comes out. James should be able to find that frag. Now Sanji is going to take out Neilan. And now Adren in a one versus three. You know the situation is pretty dire when Adren is on the second door. It's not a weapon he plays. With just a USP in his hands, quick, uh, quick it, kick it should win this one every day of the week. And Adren gets spotted. He's fast on the re Buster. This is gonna all go down to Kinder down to 3 HP. Buster finds the first. Can't quite find a second. Fame comes in with a trade. And we are a 4 versus 4, and Kicker comes out as well. Takes out Fame, and now it's down to Moo. He sees the barrel of Sanji's rifle as well. He doesn't expect quicker, but it's not gonna matter. Sanji thankfully able to trade. And now the 3 versus 2, but Yakinda is clinging on to a glimmer of life right now. The flash comes over towards CT, and Sanji will begin the bomb plot. Norbert starts spraying him down, <laughs> and that will alert Yakinda to his position. But he does surprisingly little damage. Only about two bullets from that spray connect. He will now be pushing out. Gets spotted by Jame, and Yakinda falls to Neelan as he comes back through connector. Sanji in the sandwich, forces Neelan off the stairs angle. He can find a spray down here, but no, he doesn't expect them. And Jame above the smoke it means a sick not to move, but a bit of a late reaction there. Now, Furtis Pro are looking to come into this bomb site. Norbert is going to find a first, but oh, goes down already. And Norbert here can't survive. 
Can't hold on, and that's going to be the BB bomb site in full control of Virtus Pro. And K23 here have to make a difficult decision to save. It is 8 to 3, but if they lose these weapons, they're Ooh. not going to be able to come in for the buy. And your Kinder knows this. SP as fast as lightning finds the first, and it's going to find the second onto Adrin. This must absolutely crush the confidence of K23. TP are looking so damn good. And we were talking about ESCM main a bit earlier, but what I do want to say is K23 Arriva. Yeah, this, this is... is this is why there's a big separation in scoreline. Yeah, for sure. Fame is gonna find the entry on the bus. The lots of kills going down here in the palace, but Adrian comes out ahead though. This is I say that your kinder finds his teammate Neil and now your kinder oh, has to find a kill right now. Oh, he's gonna do exactly that now, no, but is gonna hold on to the B bomb site. And now, Jame, one versus three? You know what time it is. It's Jame time, baby. I've been wanting to is say it? that for a long time, but oh, perhaps not the same. Now, just, the round is near 100% <gasps> guaranteed. Oh, my goodness. The head oh. barely noticeable, and Adrian is going to find the club. Putting four players in front of the A bomb site. There's a show that they want to get this round done and over with, and Kicker is going to find the entry. Will they expect Adrian? to be sitting here on the wood so oh, it's gonna come out goes down to kickers call oh, but we're not there just yet they are still looking to find some kills and i don't think vp know that they are this close to the bomb site two kills going away Ooh. make that three k23 and jay now one versus three one versus two now could this be the clutch he was looking for in his last round it's looking good so far. He finds the uh, first. And, oh, that's a risky weapon pickup there. Gives up his position entirely, and Norbert swings on in off of Arpus. So perhaps Kickard is going to be able to deliver on that front. Now, just as I say that, he does find <laughs> the entry on the move. That is uh, great to see. Great that I at least know something of this game. Players, if he just moves a bit to the right. But now, VP only in full control. The A bomb side. This is. Uh, well, the man in the driving seat is the one running around with a bomb at the speed of light and Adrin. He's made a scope sound. Oh. The flashbang is beautiful from Buster. Your Kindar swings right on in. And now Fame is next to be tested by the firing squad as it's Sanji decapitating Norbert with a 7.62 round. And Fame in the one versus four. In the last round of the half, it's not going to come to anything as your Kinder. One shot. Now the X ray always teasing us. Norbert. Is not going to tease your kinder because he's just going to shoot in just a moment if he's not careful. And look at this, he's going back up middle. If they peek him as a unit, he's definitely going to Got fall. And as he does, yeah, kick it. Gets his face caved in by a nice bit of lead. Now the five versus three for K23. Should come into fruition if they push now. However, they are running into the stacked bomb site. What can Buster do from this position? As a teammate will fall and he himself gets decapitated. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but Furtis Pro are not really looking snappy on the aiming department. Not really hitting the flying headshots we would expect to see. Famed up. Coming in the back, James. He's gonna be unable to make James time happen. He's gonna be very angry about that one. He is gonna get hunted down. That's a six round for K23 in there. Gonna be dropping silently. Oh, this guy is a ninja. An absolute ninja. Now your kinder is gonna find Moo right there. Makes it a five versus four. And now K23 looking to take control of middle, but VP already with the upper hand. Now Norbert. Looking towards connector. It'll be smoked off. Just imagine if you shot oh, the right timing. there, your kinder is gonna do exactly that. Yeah, the timing is you. Jane finds Norbert and Buster right here in a huge position. He's gonna find a trend. Comes out. And now Neilan all by his lonesome on the B bomb site is going to find a kill. But what can he really do? He's trapped and the bomb is in firm possession of the CT. He's already up short. I mean, a Neilan 1v3 would definitely be a, a spicy way to start off this half. But Buster finds a headshot with a rifle he's just picked up. And King Middle. He's going to get smoked off. Now the names will come in. So, yeah. Oh, Neilan, oh, what a headshot there onto your Kinder. That is really what they call a Ferrari peak. And K23 are going to be pushing the A-bomb site off of the back of that. But now, a 4 versus 2 and Kickert. Oh, no, wow. the timing there is absolutely horrible. Dren is going to find a beautiful headshot. James is going to miss, and a Dren. Smoke will go down towards Connector, and unfortunately, that's not going to deal with any of these Virtus Pro players. But that's a wonderful headshot towards Sanji. Now the 1 versus 2, and the health is less than admirable here for the VP squad. A Dren. 
takes the plant and then goes for the other side of the bomb site and oh look at this from jame he's running all the way from a drain if he was able to find it still the one versus two health still dire on the side of the ct oh. players but no he peeks into the orb of jame and they know their health is low, but they don't give up on the round. They continue holding those angles, something that not a lot of players would have the patience for. And off the back of that... Look, K23 definitely playing out of their mind. I mean, not necessarily out of their mind, because they're not really, you know, doing that well six rounds, but they're really finding some nice kills and putting themselves in some great positions. But just to get things over the finishing line... It's a bit too tough oh, of a task, and Jame finds a collateral right there. He's just styling on them with the Yarp. I was invited to this event in the first place. They were under Trident on the call list. And they have had a bit of a fall from Grace, but Norbert, that's no fall from Grace. That's a headshot out of nowhere. Excellently done by him, but look at your Kinder. He's already ready to receive. He finds the first trade, not the second, but kneeling down to 8 HP. Now a 4 versus 3 for K23, and the best chance they've had it around in quite some time, but the util reigns on down. Fame doesn't care. Find a frag on to kick it, and now the four versus two situation for K23. I am a believer in this comeback right now. I believe. Now Fame is gonna find a headshot onto your Kinder Sanji now. One versus four. Fame is gonna take him out, and now I was looking a bit at the chat. A ramp will fall off as he doesn't catch the timing. But look at Norbert though, he's so aggressive. That's a brilliant headshot onto towards your Kinder. Connector. Yeah, sorry. No, I was, I was gonna say, I thought that was a man in ladder. He's in underpass, but right. Jame, good lord, he has two targets to pick from. Finds one, and oh, fame? Fame is gonna kill his. Coming for the slowest flank ever. But Sanji, oh, oh god, fame. Sanji. He's not gonna live forever, especially not if he's gonna miss his shots now. Two versus two, Sanji is in control of the bomb, and with 25 seconds left, I know why Kickard is on the A bomb site because Sanji, he just has to survive for like 10 seconds, and then the round is won. Now, Adren, he's gonna pick the bomb, but yeah, Ooh. Kickard fires off in the smoke, and this could be all and over with. No, Dylan is gonna get to that B bomb site just with enough time, and now it's time. Well, the clutch of Kegert. Or, well, not the clutch. Who knows? Well, one versus alone, and all oh, the timing is kick it slips round just out of view. And he sees the kill, Ooh. but doesn't find it. Neelan instead. Uh, yeah, and now there's so much on the line here, but Sandy, is he the man to get it done? Finds the first, dropping a smoke. No, it's going to miss. Thankfully, Buster's there to pick things up, and Buster finds another as fame's only good for a singular trade. Now the four oh, versus no. two will continue to come in, and the Akinda, yeah. Taking down move. And it's all down to fame, and he is an incredible player, but a one versus four, that's a bridge too far. Deal is smokes raining on down. They're gonna cover the cross. USP's peak on in, but the PT 50s have the advantage until Norbert decapitates and oh my goodness me, to flurry of frag in K23. They're winning all of their fights, and it's all down to bust. We'll be coming in right here. Oh, okay. oh that is what you like to see. Uh, that is, of course, the map 2 odds. Only 1.62. I believe that's a 2.2 over VP. But yeah, Kindar, you madman jumping through fire and flame to find the all important entry and put another man in mood down to a single point of health. And Buster coming in to play cleanup could kill him with that flashbang he has in his hand. Mu isn't careful, but kick at one digs Neil and are now the four versus three. But Adren. Adren is there to help play cleanup. And if they don't deal with this pit player quickly. Then they could be at a severe disadvantage. Oh yeah, VP coming in from the A bomb site. If he comes out quickly, could catch Mu off guard. Is gonna do exactly that now. Fame coming in from behind. How will the timing go? It goes great for him. Finds edge. On. Brilliant Molotov to delay. He knows that time is low, and if he just tucks, he should have the advantage. Ooh. But Jamie, so quick! Oh my goodness! One S in hand. What can he do with it? Hinda looking to entry. Bloody hell, Buster. Was that a pre-fire? Oh my, Buster! Goodness gracious me! Two excellent entries. Go for the hunt, but they just want to build their economy because VP, if they keep in rounds like this, they're just gonna be good for the rest of the hunt. He's got wind of this, but look at him. He does have help. And Moo actually finding kick it through the smoke makes this far more manageable. Jane does trade onto Neelan. And off the back of this, they might choose to go towards A. However, Yakinda still pushes his way out towards middle. He finds a presence, finds a head of Moo. Norbert picks off Sanji, so we're still at a three versus three situation. Nothing is yet decided. Yakinda hits a leg shot. 
He himself goes down to 5 HP, but it's Jame to find the orc kill onto Norbert. Now the 3 versus 2. It's incredibly difficult for both sides, but Yakindar finding a drain. It's all down to fame. And the Ling there. Got the wall bang instead. Gonna find a kill zone now, Mo. Now, if those smokes get thrown there, he could be surprising them. Now, he's just gonna come out pushing. Doesn't want to deal with no smokes. He's gonna fly and kick her just like that. Now, Sanji, Buster, and JM, they're in trouble, especially when Fame is in this position. Oh my goodness, this is one of those situations where it's whoever has vision first and it will be Buster. Decapitates the new youngster and then ducks under the bullets of Adren from window. The flash does come over and that will result in the death of Buster. Sanji falls as well, leaving Jamie in the one versus four. To him. Currently has the Arp of Sanji. Just a green skin. Nothing unusual, so... He, he might be a machine. But uh, he's going to have to find some kills on the AWP here as the B-side SU comes on in. Yakenda entries onto a Dren, famed to trade right back on with the AUG, but he himself gets cleaned up by Buster and Jane. Doing Jane things on that AWP. A brilliant double Molotov means Nealon has no chance to push up towards the window, and that's the B bomb site securely fast. Oh, I, do, I do believe he could have uh, had a bit of a career if he played his cards different. It wasn't too bad. This mo definitely a lot better. He's gonna fly into the kill to kick her. Gonna try saving it. It looks like he's being a last issue. Has to walk away. Down to 65 HP and VP coming in hard. Jame is gonna find a Dren. Only at front. And now Kickert is gonna find a bomb plan. Both jumping on top of the boxy Kinder takes out Neilan. And now a five versus three for VP. Norbert has to pull off something insane here. Finds the first, but can't quite transfer. The spray and now have a player in the team. Crush used to be player for Hellraisers. Actually played at a major. Ooh, and they're going to find a nice headshot on the Mo here. But yeah, unique. That CIS team, definitely not as good as they used to be. They have not been a good team for quite some time. I'm going to be honest with you, White. They struggled in... Going to sneak up towards the A bomb site now, Norbert. is expecting he has a nade out. Wow. Your Kinder is going to find a kill and now a five versus four. 23 looking to perhaps find a return frag. Now your kinder a bit sloppy there. Does lose his head. Now fame. Yeah, 16 HP as well. But Adren, what position is he in right now? He's in elevator. That's right to go for the cookie shot. Can't quite find it. Kickered. Thanks out fame and J23. Time to save, I guess. Oh well, die. Now Adren is gonna find a kill through the smoke. Or well, the edge of the smoke onto Buster. But yeah, they have to find kills now because otherwise. Adren now gonna come in alone. The timing could be horrible. Sanji with a headshot onto him. Nearly at 16k is a very worrying sign on well, any we see game the of snipers. CSGO. I don't, I don't at the see end the of the half. Snipers. That would be so fun. The fact that they didn't bring that back. That was such a nice graffiti, but oh well. Fame gotta find a kill. The Sanji rush B strat is coming in. What can BP do right here? Adren is gonna find a one for one trade, but. K23 absolutely get deleted out of the half, but actually, look at look at this two versus three. It's a two versus three, but this is the B bomb site we're talking about here, White. And look at the utility left on these Virtus Pro players. The boost up comes in from Nealon, and they have a slight gap in the door. Jane could be in the line of fire here. They see his head, and he's not going to realize where that's come from. Oh my God, Jane! He's a madman, and Buster swings on in towards the middle. Down goes Mo. Last alive is Nealon. He's got 69 points to help the Buster. He's out for his blood. Just narrowly misses the head, and I don't see any logical way that K23 can win this round. Nealon, he's tagged down Jane, but it's not going to matter. Jane is... What I'm thinking is... And now I understand why Jane has the least deaths of any professional Counter-Strike player. Because yeah. this man is... He's a monster. Oh yeah, he definitely is now. Four versus four right here. Norbert and Neil are about to hold on to this A-bomb site. Well, not when Jane is there. He's going to find the kill. Shooters. <laughs> Virtus Pro. As precise as they've been, they're surely going to be checking that if they do add a bomb in there. But now, ooh, Adren is going to find Kickert. Kickert hitting the what used to be a palm tree there. Goodness me, that was quite some time ago. All right, all right, all right. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're more ancient than the map itself. Oh, I'm no, sorry, I mean, but... <laughs> oh. 
Thielen and Fane find one each. And Sanji does trade. Can Sanji win out the one versus two clutch white? What do you reckon here? Yeah, man, he can do it. If there's any, his opponents are going to get it, but now Sanji just has to hit some beautiful headshots. Is he going to find it first? Can go and run away. He has the molly, so he oh, just no. has to throw that one in. Oh, the smoke. But he, oh, Neil is going for the defuse. Will Sanji spray the right angle? Oh, finds the headshot through the smoke. Sanji just want to go to that A bomb sign. It would be the right choice. Neil and oh, the timing could be huge. He's going to find Buster with his nade out, but keeps on going. Sanji with a trade, and now the A bomb sign is entirely empty. I'm not sure what K23 have done. I guess this is just a bad read from them. Because they have completely left the A-bomb side open. I, I'm feeling like they had they thought that PP were going towards B, so they were like getting the wrap ready, but they didn't realize that VP were going towards A. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an awkward gamble stack there, and the grenade is awkward as well. It just doesn't quite find the mark. Admittedly, four versus three on the retake, but Yakindar spots one in CT. Molotov to follow up and smokes to further delay. And time is ticking down for K23, as is the opportunity to win rounds. Fame, though, finds a head. Jane finds onto a Dren. And a, a fake. Hello. A grenade. Ooh. Oh, Yakindar. He's gifted like it. This. He's been gifted the double kill. Versus one. Oh. Does Dying he have though. time? I Robert? don't think so. Yeah, Maybe. VP have won it. It's over. VP have won it. <laughs> How did wow. he do it? So much more better. That's the fact that they're going to win this one. The words didn't really come out as I wanted them to, but I guess you, uh, <laughs> you know the point that I'm trying to get across. Now Fame and Adren going to find two kills in K23 here, opening up the B bomb site. And uh, perhaps they're about to prove. It's depressing when you're down 13 2. Especially on a map like Dust 2. It is a map where comebacks are made and Virgin Health and Yakinda now looking to deal with this short aggression. It's a brilliant flashbang load. Forces him off the angle, might find one through the smoke, but no, it's Jame instead to entry. Molotov towards Goose does miss the mark, and so does the second one. Neither of them are really fully Molotoving sight or Goose, and now Yakinda decapitates poor old Mo, meaning it's a 5 versus 3 situation. And VP looking pretty hot to pick up their first gun round of the second half. Yes, indeed, you kinder now. Timing. So, mean, I'm going to find a kill there, but Jane is here holding down the angle, finds the shot. Now, two players left for K23 now. I can see a lot of people. Ooh, kicker, going to find a headshot on the face. He could get some extra dollars. VP, they're, they're playing small Counter-Strike. I love it. Yeah, they really are, and it's... So uh, and and the drop off is is apparent. Kinder, which position? Gonna find nearly finds two. Fame is gonna find a kill though. Gonna find a punishing frag. Jame from the flames. What is he gonna do? At least he survives. Now not oh. for long though. That was and all, but but yeah, VP gonna go for the save and continue on sneaky. I will continue on in this two versus four situation. V have to capitalize. He could well do so, Norbert getting a little bit risky with his peaks, and down he goes. That's an AK and armor stolen away. The economy of K23 isn't fantastic, though. So it's it's wise that they don't send in a plan when things are really going to switch up. Because it's such a different environment to sitting at home comfortably in your chair, and I think FPL players will get quite a shock, as I just got shot by a Drenz. You're cheating. That was in the UK. <laughs> I, I went to that as well. It was a great event. And uh, kick, it, kick it swings on in, finds Mo, feigned to trade onto Buster. Now the two versus three in a train is low, so this is not out of the question for VP. Especially to, so it needs to be kick it to strike first. It's coming in, not going to go for the one tap, goes for the straight spray, gets punished for it. Now Jame time is going to come in. Fame, jump pretty high there. Very nice jumping skills. Now Jame is going to try to hold onto his up and. Nice shots. Dren, gonna go for the save as well, and that's gonna be both ops saved for either side. Battle of the IGLs is a stalemate for the time. Out, but holding long. Perhaps find a nice kill here. Shoots straight in between them. Now your kinder has to go big, and Norbert finds him. And K23, they have just won the round because VP, it's game time. Oh, dearie me, it's a collect. If this was a game against Narby right now, Narby would have been. You know, they'd be stomping versus Pro as they did in Dreamhack. And whilst it wasn't a stomp in terms of score... Frags, if someone does go down now, an entry frag would, of course, be the ideal scenario. Dren is going to find a headshot onto Sanji. 
finds the opener. Now flashbang out to the A bomb, slightly kinder here behind the double doors. There is a player straight on the other side, but now Jane once again falling back into that CT side. The kinder though is gonna find Moo. Mo, excuse me, fame. With this round, I'm assuming they'll lose it. It will only be a five round deficit for K23, but things are starting to get worried. In the meantime, excellent comeback from K23. They were down, what, 13 to 2? And now James is back in charge of saving the AWP. Fame on peaks at just the wrong moment. And at least they're keeping the economy a bit honest. But, but Venice Pro, they've got to start putting that final round on the board to at least secure a 15th. Got to start helping out those A players, man. They're kind of being thrown onto the bus now. Just the... Uh... Well, grenade to follow. Oh, yeah. Oh, it could be big. It could be very, very big. But a drain is going to be even bigger. Oh, my goodness. Finding Kicker and Sanji. That is huge. And now there's no option to save. Your kid don't need to double here. Otherwise, it could be game over. But no. Through the smoke. As the drain finds Buster. Oh, my goodness. It's all falling apart. Jame, can he find the pick onto a drain? Or will he himself become the next victim? Ooh, it's a very fast kill towards a uh, Adren. But it's not going to matter. It's Jame time. Once again, the economy started to get a little oh. broken here for Virtus Pro. It was Sanji to buy the orb for Jame in the previous. And a great flick from Jame onto Norbert. You've heard a meme comes from more and more. Oh, Jame. Oh, Ooh. does hit those shots. But yeah, Jame. It's like he doesn't even want to try going for a clutch play. He just runs off, just makes up his mind. I think he even made up his mind about saving in the beginning of the round there. Same goes for Sanji. Hasn't been the greatest in this game either, but now this position could be huge. The flash is going to come in. Sanji finds one, gets straight out, but the damage has been done. Where's Mo? Now four versus four. Oh, no. Just going to find some kills. Three versus four now for VP. Is this going to fall apart again? Is a question that I have. Three versus three. There is two players in a bomb site. The retake is coming in. It is not a save. You've heard this right. You get kin. They're going to find Neelan. Moving with a trade, though. And now a two versus two. Buster missing a crucial shot for both of these players to now on 4 HP. Buster does not miss the second time around, but Norbert doesn't either. Oh, and it's a USPS one tap to seal the deal. And Virtus Pro finally, finally kick up a 15th round on the board. For angle, but yeah, James, Sanji, and your Kinder to hold on to this A bomb slightly your Kinder here. Gonna go down to Mo. Shame though with a trade. And now four versus four. Can VP finish this one out? So far, not so good as K23 pick up another in the form of their young gun fame. Sanji is going to survive the cross and picks up Mo. Jane oh. finds ahead of Adren. And they spun this right back into a man advantage. Make that two as Buster finds a kill onto Norbert. Now fame in the one versus three situation. He has so much to do, so much responsibility. And down goes Jane. Now the two versus one. Can the oh, new kid on the block fight the frag? No, he can't. Buster through the smoke. And that's a Virtus Pro round. That's a 16th on the board. And ladies and gentlemen, a 